Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Heyo and welcome into my stream. Uh, this is my weekend stream. Welcome in. I streamed it on Twitch and then I expo exported it to YouTube. So welcome in. I do these streams uh, once a week, usually on the weekend. Um, this one I'm doing a little bit earlier, I'm doing a couple of days earlier, then it'll export um, on that Saturday-ish time frame. Um, latest I upload is usually Sunday afternoon. Um, Sunday night here in New Zealand, that's the latest time usually. Um, yeah, welcome to my stream here, you can see me painting page 14. I had to have a, a wee look at it, because it looks like I didn't have a lot of recording time from the kind of what it looked like um, back when I last touched this page, page 14, um, to now, where I'm doing the final fix-ups for this page. Yeah, um, so yeah, welcome in. Today I thought I'd talk about a topic um, again, and I'm, I'm going to be talking to you um, about opening up a new chapter um, today, a new chapter in my career, a new chapter, um, you know, after kind of finishing this book, after, you know, um, yeah, opening up new chapters, um, and yeah, things like that at the moment, just talking about, you know, opening up new chapters, um, you know, if you feel if you feel like life's a book and you know you go by chapters, you can go by that way, sections, you know, whatever um, you want to call it. But um, you know, this has been a big journey for me um, doing this book, um, creating this book, illustrating this book, writing this book, um, and now you know putting the final pieces of the book together. Um, there's still a little bit to do on it, so I'm not completely finished with, I guess, this chapter or this journey or this project that I'm doing at the moment. I'm not completely um, finished with it. Um, but, you know, most of it's there. Now it's not so much illustrating it. There's a little bit of fixing up and illustrating work to go. Not too much, just like... Um, a few things like fixing up the smoke um kind of thing in my um uh, f smoke in one of my um pages like pages one to four i think it is you have a lot of um a few smoke rays in those pages i think it's two three four two, three, and pa pa four, so three or four pages there, they've got to fix that um, up. It's like when I had to uh, change the spikes, um, and I had to go through every page that needed that change, um, and I, I changed them all to that, basically, and that's what I've been doing lately. I've kind of fixed up the all the, the pages, added you know, the best I can, painted them up the best I can, and now, you know, doing those um, finishing details, um, those things won't take too long, um, and that is more background thing now, background noise. Um, so also, you know, a new chapter now, um, it's opening up a new chapter basically, I'll be closing, kind of closing off this chapter, um, in kind of my art life for now, uh, I still it still be there. I'll still be you know f finishing this book silently in the background and and doing kind of the next steps and and things like that and um, doing what I can um, to keep kind of finishing off this book and getting the book out there and advertising the book if I need to and everything like that um that i might need to do in the you know near future <laughs> um 
as much as I can at the moment, you know, I've just kind of, you know, finished this page 14, um, and I'm at the stage of, I've got in one test print, and, you know, the colours were pretty much okay, I looked that they'd probably need a little bit more of a lighten up, um, before I get the, um, full print, go for a full mock-up print of it. Um, and from there I'll be just doing little tweaks um, that I can do with all the, the pages, just doing tweaks here and there. Also got the front cover page book, the front cover of the book to fix up. And that again, um, tweaks, not so many um, issues there. A little bit of editing and, and playing around with design a little bit. I've also got to do the back cover, <laughs> um, write little blurbs and all that stuff inside the book and um, get it ready so it can be fully kind of printed um, and get it to the print stage. But yeah, that's the that's the next one is just a um, another test print because the test print that I got, um, it had, you know, one half the one half the page um, flipped wrong side up and that's just the printer the way that, that it prints because um, with the double sided you know it, it prints where it flips the paper when it prints it obviously um, so that means that um, you know if something in the front um, if you print on the back it has to be the other side other way around to actually be able to print it um, exactly the right way up for the other side um, and you know you learn this when you've you've worked with some printers before you work with print places you learn this um, that you have to set up files in, in different manners um, for how you're going to print it as well as also uh, when you print the book you learnt a lot about like bleed marks and, and crop marks and um, everything basically there is to know about printing once you um, you know start to print products and print uh, your designs and illustrations and paintings um, you kind of have to learn it in a way if you do want to um, print you know professionally you can obviously go for more maybe print on demand things and um but definitely for books you do need to know that because you need to know how to set up your files and things like that so it can be printed right um it's i'm going to have to set up all my files to get printed you know there is a fair bit you know still there um in this kind of chapter that I'm going for at the moment, but you know, um, now I'm slowly moving into a new chapter. I am, well, I'm I'm slowly going through this um, process of finishing off and everything um, in the background. You know, I do it in the background. I'll be, you know, putting in what time I can, keeping up with my YouTube channel. Um, now with my YouTube channel, I will be doing a few 90 minute art challenges for a little bit. Um, I'll be, I might repaint or redraw a few things, edit a few things maybe, I'm not too sure. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind maybe repainting or kind of polishing off one of my paintings I've seen, um, some artists do that, which is actually pretty cool to see, like, um, Borondo, I can't remember his full name, but, you, um, Boro, I not CG, I think, but he's a, Borondante, Borondante, Dante. <laughs> um, he is an awesome artist, um, Adam Duff talks about him a wee bit as well, and he's this awesome artist, um, here's an interesting way of talking, which is, it's really cool as well, like, you'd think, um, 
yeah um like has an accent as well i think um but he's an awesome artist and he's repainted quite a few of his paintings which is cool to see that you know and he also um you know critiques other people's work on there and that kind of thing's really cool um to see because it, it does help you that you know you see artists out there and you see illustrators and creators that they might be doing the same kind of thing you're doing or they may be doing something completely different um but you know if you see um others mistakes and things like that it can help you because you could be like oh well i make that mistake you know um and they sh show you solutions and, and things to think about um you might have the same issue of painting grass or the same issue in trying to capture emotion or you know and you see them in this um these critiques and things like that and it does really help so you know that's really good to see and i definitely will be doing that i think i'll be in the next one of the next videos repainting um one of my <laughs> paintings well you know painting over and fixing it up um i'll be doing that in in one of my um next streams or something like that i'm not too sure when but you know i can fit those things in now so i just be i don't won't have like a big project that i'm painting on but every kind of now every week i've got to keep up a video so i need you know at least an hour and a half um of recorded painting a week um and that can be you know uh not so daunting when it's a um painting off when it's a say a polishing off piece you know that's always good when it's like a polishing off i can kind of maybe i do just give myself 90 minutes and excuse me maybe i do just give myself like 90 minutes and just kind of polish off a piece um fix up all the mistakes i can um anything else i have to leave you know i've only got an hour and a half of actual painting recording time and that's what i do um fixing it up that could be a solution there because that's easy to do because what i can do um with that is meaning you know one night um monday or wednesday or tuesday you know one night i can do that a 90 minute um uh, painting or drawing record it uh, for this youtube channel um, get all set up and everything which doesn't take too long maybe in, um probably about 20-ish minutes to um of downtime setting up you know it takes probably um about five or six minutes to um actually you know put piece of video together um for this you know this youtube channel um and then once i've pieced that together i've got to export it which exporting is kind of long part that ta that can take you know um half an hour to uh i've had i've had videos where it's taken three or four hours to actually export the video um and that's you know due to kind of the size of the video you know how long i've recorded for um and things like that and it just you know it's taken that long two or three hours to actually get it exported um and then once i've done that i've got to you know do my final edits you know add in the, the starter sequence um uh, speed up the video you know make a 45 minute video and that's another probably two or three minutes um tweaking that um and then from there you know export it exporting from there usually i use hit film it usually only takes half an hour but it can um on rare occasions take you know two or three hours and you know i was worried about that tonight because I, I watched some of this video and i was like hold up you know this doesn't look right um but it is it was actually you know right it's all i'm pretty sure it's all in order and everything um 
I'm ending the video, you can see me uh, painting over um, this thing. I'm painting over it right, as far as I know. Um, I looked as best as I can, I'm pretty sure, you know, this is all um, kind of correct visuals for you, you know, it's all in order as far as I know. Um, yeah, and I, I check that, you know, I do have to check that as well when I'm creating these videos. I have to um, check that the, the video is right, there's no kind of audio in the videos that I'm using. Um, all these minus things um, that in the past have caused issues, you know, I've had it where I've had some music, background music or something play um, while I'm talking to an artist, I was like, God, really? Um, and you know, but now I'm getting better at it, you know. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that next chapter where I will be now. From now, I'll be doing a couple of ninety-minute art challenges, probably for a few weeks or so. It's been cool doing that. Um, I really enjoyed doing those ninety-minute art challenges. Um. It's kind of good that it's, you know, it's only kind of 90 minutes. I, I don't have to dedicate a whole kind of week to, to painting this thing. Um, I just, you know, do the 90 minutes. You can obviously, you know, spend more time on it if you want. But uh, 90 minutes is, is really good. It gets a painting done. Um, and it, it shows me what I can actually do in 90 minutes if I, you know, focus... Um, in and actually paint something, you know. Um, so, yeah, reinforcing that, that what I can do within 90 minutes um, really helps, you know. Um, even with the, you know, creating these videos, um, I watch sometimes every night, or not every night, but some most nights or some nights, I'm looking in at how much time I've actually recorded um for, you know, these videos. And it's important to know, because it's important to know whether I've got enough content for, you know, um, the next week's video, or, or the week after's video, you know. Um, and I have been lately running into a muck where <laughs> I only just am keeping up. Um, and, you know, with weekly tips, though, I'm a week ahead with that. Uh, and my plan was, you know, a couple of weeks ago, um, I, I had some time off work and I had um, some extra time that I was getting at home to do some painting and drawing and stuff. And I thought, you know, doing weekly tips get ahead, a week ahead of weekly tips, um, it would, you know, get me kind of you know, at a good position where I could then focus a little bit more on, you know, these videos, these paintings, and my book, and um, things like that, which it kind of did, it did give me a little bit more time, I'm less, and also, I'm less stressed out now, um, for my weekly tips, um, not so rushing around trying to get it done and trying to draw it and failing at drawing it and um, mucking around. I'm just kind of taking my time just doing the drawing and because I'm not so stressed out it only you know it doesn't take me too long you know it, I may end up being in a rut that um, you know that I do I'm not finished it till like Sunday night and I do the recording on it on Monday night. Um, but it's not so stressful. That always happens every now and again. It's not so stressful because it's only, you know, the recording part's only 10 or 15 minutes, which isn't too bad. Um, I don't mind doing that the Monday night and I'm still, you know, working on this page or whatever I was working on um, the previous page before that. You know, that, that did happen a little bit. Um, but that's all good, didn't chew up too much time, um, I kind of finished the painting, and I don't, it's not stressed out so much, because I've got, you know, the week, the previous week's video to upload, um, you know, it's not like I have to piece the video all together, and, uh, you know, get everything out there, um, before the Tuesday morning, I usually 
all done and ready to put up on YouTube. So that, you know, with my weekly tips, I release every Wednesday. Um, that's less stressful now um, with having that week extra. Um, it also means if I do, you know, um, get into a situation maybe that I couldn't do a weekly tips one weekend or um, that it wasn't possible to, um, yeah, and get it done and get also, um, yeah, I could be like, no, well, I'll just upload the weekly tips from last week and, uh, you know, because I'm a week ahead that I could, I could do that at some stage. Um, it, it kind of sucks if I have to do that, um, because, you know, it's, I'm a week ahead, which, um, it, you know, when you're trying to get ahead, um, of yourself, you know, you're trying to get, um, I guess, twice as much, you know, painting started, or two illustrations, um, going, you know, it's really hard to get both of those things going really good, um, in a way, you know, get the, both of those going, going, because, you know, the initial starting part is the really hard part, you know, figuring out the proportions, figuring out, um, the tones and figuring out all this important information that you're figuring out at the beginning of a painting. Um, that's, you know, that's like um, with the, the the videos as well. You're figuring out what kind of video you want to make and all that um, hard things, hard questions you're trying to answer um, in the painting, in the illustration, even in the video. You know, um, so once you do kind of answer all those questions then it's the easy part it's the um you know piecing together and painting up and um getting the things going um but yeah you know getting a week ahead of yourself you know um producing videos for say um you know you can produce one video a week but as soon as you start putting two videos a week it's much more work you know um gets way too intense and it's going to be intense that week um but then you know if you slowly go back to uh one video a week then it's going to be like well you're a week ahead you've got two videos here <laughs> um that way you can um you know you don't have to stress out so much because you've got you know you're releasing a video a week but one week you've produced two which is you know, twice as hard, or two illustrations, um, but that gives you, you know, it, the ball running, basically. If that makes sense to you at all, um, you know, it's kind of like when you've got paintings lined up and illustrations lined up and and projects, uh, projects lined up or clients, um, and, you know, you kind of work on on one painting but as you're kind of going into the finishing of a painting you're starting to look into the next project and how you're going to do that project slowly you know um you're not exactly um finishing off completely i think that's where i'm at now i'm at the I'm definitely at the, you know, um, finishing off part, but now I'm looking into, you know, the next chapter, the next journey, the next project that I'm going to be doing. Um, and that's always good to do. It's always good to, to do that. I mean, um, back three, four years ago, I would say, um, probably even further than that, when I was doing... Um, when I was doing pencil drawings um, of basically animals, um, it would be that I would, even then I was kind of, but usually what I would do is I would kind of finish a project, finish a drawing that I was doing, um, and then, you know, after that drawing, I would be just 
totally relaxed after that i wouldn't be doing much i might be doing a few oddball drawings of just drawing random things maybe i might do a pokemon drawing um but you know a drawing would take a like, good uh prisma color drawing full color rendered um drawing that i would do would take me roughly some of them a week some of them two or three weeks you know that would be a project basically um and i'll do that you know in the end of my project um you know i would just kind of relax and and just draw random stuff and practice which is always good to do um um but you know it if you got clients and you know you would be in freelancing and stuff like that um sometimes you kind of need that uh income where you are uh, got you've always got projects on the go um so when you finished one project you've got another project to then go on to <laughs> it's good to have that little bit of a break though um as well you know within between projects a bit of learning time um just doodling just relaxing as well um just random drawings you know it's always good to to have that uh, a little bit of learning and i was doing a lot of that back then a lot of learning i still am you know um uh, when i can i am learning with my weekly tips i'm drawing animals so i do get to explore that i do get to um learn a bit about drawing animals and and uh teach you guys a few things and things like that so i do you know i get to to get some of learning time i watch um youtube videos about art uh from likes of adam duff bro Do dante that i mentioned before bobby chio um aaron blaze uh the list can go on you know there are um artists out there so one recently has been matthew dobridge shout out to him he's got a slightly um small channel as well which is really cool um looks like he's slowly getting back into it kind of a thing he's got a cool channel um out there so go check out matthew dobridge's channel um yeah my I'll, I'll link it in the description for you guys um in there I'll just shout out his channel um but yeah you know a lot of us out there um also you know recently i went to a workshop uh with walter tulips um expressive characters um which was really good uh, you know it taught me a lot about shape and how do you shape and a bit about expression you know there was a lot in there um you know i'm one where i can't um you know quickly explain what i learned <laughs> i guess you know um, um it's kind of uh, deeper than that um in a way for me at the moment you know when you kind of start out um it's easy because you could be like i learned how to draw a circle or i learned how to shade a, cir a circle um but it gets you know much harder uh, the further on because you know um you know all those basic things then you've got you know <laughs> i learned how to draw a or render a circle in you know um a nighttime scene so it becomes way more extravagant basically uh, if that makes sense um to everyone um for my explanations and everything you know <laughs> yeah but yeah you know i've i've been learning a lot i do uh schoolism as well and that um i've been doing for the last couple of years just watching um videos i've done four classes i think four or five done uh till wit latches on creature design i've done bobby chios um on digital painting 
I think I think I did digital painting or did I do creatures as well on his yeah I think I did creatures or uh, yeah on his one <laughs> um also Daniel Ariega's class on um characters expressive characters I think for TV and film um, and also I am doing at the moment um, Craig Mullins class now with that I'm pretty much watching them you know and and I am using what they are saying um, with my paintings and, and the things that I work on um, so you know I'm I'm trying to absorb as much as I can. I've only got so much time though, so all those um some of those exercises I do, you know, um with definitely with Ed Daniel Ari Ariega's class. Um I was doing some of this exercise whilst doing the exercises during creating this book as well. I was using um some of those elements and character um expressions you know using the things he was talking about in this book as well um which was good to see and that's the thing you got to you know you you got to listen to the the knowledge and it's good to always listen to the knowledge and read books about it and um uh, find all the knowledge in the world um but you definitely have to find a way to apply it um you know, because always it will turn into that random fact um, and that never gets used. And it might get used at a party one one time and then once it's it's used, it's gone. You know, um, like a random random joke or random thing that you use at a party once and you forget about it, you know. Um, so using it reinforces what you know um, everything like that. So I I try my best to to make sure I apply it somewhere, um, so I know and understand um, what they're saying and those things. Um, and Andrew Loomis's book also is another one um, that I'm slowly reading again. I've kind of flicked through it a few times. Um, now I'm going fully through it, um, page by page, reading you know, everything he has to say in the book, basically, I'm really delving into it now, um, and it's really, um, interesting that, you know, so many of these artists, um, do, you know, say the same thing, you know, in a different light, and it's always good to have too, is a different perspective, um, that's why I'm here, you know, creating these YouTube videos, um, uh, most of the time, because I do, um, have a different perspective uh, with some of these like weekly tips and things um, I show you uh, you know the way you can draw it and, uh, and just kind of understand the animal and go into um, go into doing and you know simple side views first and understanding kind of the form of the animal first um, Yeah, and understanding shapes in the animals as well. I will be going into some interest. I might go into some interesting um, ones. You know, at the moment, you know, I've done a few where I have tried different things. You know, I started out just doing uh, random tips. You know, two or three years ago, I think I was doing just random tips like um eraser why is that good for or drawing um how to set up your photoshop file or something like that um and then i went into more kind of um animals i was like how to draw this that draw that um and lately yeah each week i'm doing a different animal drawing a different animal doing side views of the animal and everything like that um yeah and I will, you know, delve into different things as well in the next, in, you know, this next chapter as well. I'll be looking into uh, maybe changing my weekly tips up as well. 
into something a little bit more different. Um, not just animals as well. You know, I would like to explore a little bit more on how to draw things. Um, yeah, and kind of my approach to things. So it's always good to have an, a new ex perspective. And you can kind of watch some of my paintings and see the way I approach painting. Um, yeah. You know, someone was saying, oh, you know, it looks so hard with the, um, you know, <laughs> the grass and everything, you know, um, the grass is difficult, looks like a, a lot of detail, but really, um, you know, it's, uh, not a lot of detail, and also, um, I do, I think, I kind of overexhaust it a little bit sometimes, um, where I get, I just, you know, do a lot of strokes, um, where I don't actually need to do all those strokes. Um, I could get away with, um, you know, doing the main area and then just making a few strokes here and there to make it, you know, really seem like grass. Um, I don't have to paint every, you know, uh, little fur of grass, but sometimes I just find myself doing that. Um, and it's it's a habit because you know in traditional um, drawing and and illustration with drawing with prisma color, you do have to unfortunately um, uh, you could still get away with it a little bit, but you still you definitely have to um, kind of don't have to do every piece of fur, but you still you know there's still a fair bit of um, you know, <laughs> show there that you have to do. Um, but you know, you you learn from it, and uh, yeah. But anyway, you know, my next chapter here, I'm going to be finishing my book off while I'm doing um, my 90 minute art challenges. That's what I'll be doing in the next few weeks. I'll be doing a few. Um, over paints of things, I might be delving into junkyard adventures, some of the, the, the paintings on there and repainting some of them. Um also in the near future, um I have to look at getting this book out there. Um and uh, you know so that's the next big thing. But you know now for now I'm kind of um Really happy that I'm kind of finished this book. I've I'm at a, a good state. Um, you know, there are some little tweaks um, that may take me probably a couple of full days to do, maybe um, give or take <laughs> a couple of weeks, I guess, of editing it back and forth with the printer. Um, I should have a good kind of almost final in a couple of weeks. It's my guesstimate. Um, however, you know, I'm always one to kind of misjudge things. Um, it's just, you know, the, the time at the moment, um, I've only got so much time, you know, um, to do, to paint every day. Um, and it's, you know, for me, why the 90 minute art challenge is good, because, you know, I do the 90 minute art challenges, um, I've done them a few times, I do them usually Tuesday or Wednesday night, um, and that means Monday, Tuesday, I'm working on a painting, like this page, or something like that, for my YouTube channel, um, and then, you know, either Tuesday or Wednesday, I do the 90 minute art challenge, um, and get it ready for export, the, you know, the day after, whether it's, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Thursday, Friday, um, I'm working on this page again, and then I stream, you know, you know, on the, the Saturday, so, you know, miss out one night of, of painting this page, um, or whatever painting I'm working on for my YouTube channel, but, um, 
you know, it gets a video out there <laughs> as well. So, you know, four gives me four days to keep on working um, on this page. I've done it a few times where it's like, oh no, I need another week to, to work on this page because it's it's really taking me more time because I've got a lot more going on with it. Um, you know, each page is different. It has um, this only had one character in it. Uh, so it was really easy for me to finish it. Uh, it only took me about an hour and a half to to actually get it all kind of to the state. I really enjoyed it. Um, I th I, th I think it might need a little bit of a of a change. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm not hundred percent sure about it, but um, you know, I'm ninety five percent sure about it. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's just you know, there might be a little bit of an edit that I might do um, towards the finished product, you know. Um, and it's just figuring out what that is. And sometimes it's like that with illustration and, and painting. Um, it's just figuring out what it is, you know. I might need someone to have a, a wee look at it um, or something like that to, to see um, what it needs. Um, but for this, you know, this video, this, this chapter, I kind of have to, um, kind of call it finished. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, I don't have all the time in the world, um, at the moment to keep painting on it. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, while I'm doing nightmare art challenges and, um, other paintings in the background, um, I'll be working on these pages and fixing them up and, uh, finalizing the print so this you know on to the next chapter on to um yeah as well as with my youtube channel um i will be doing new subjects now <laughs> it won't all be my book now it will be um new things that i'll be painting 90 minute art challenges i'll be painting um junkyard adventures for a little bit um but i will be switching it up a lot so you will see a lot of new content coming out um on my channel um in regards to what i'm painting um you know i'll be painting new things new 90 minute art challenges so you know you'll be seeing that and you'll be seeing that in my youtube channel um, painting and creating new things so um and I, I could have done that during the this book as well i could have you know had more breaks and things like that each you know done a page um and then worked on something else and then done another page worked on something else you know i could have done that um but that would have stretched it out further you know <laughs> and that's i kind of wanted to hone in and and kind of finish um this project off and that was most important to me um but now i'm you know slightly finished again uh we're on to the next chapter so thanks for joining me um, I really do appreciate you coming in and watching this video. Um, coming in and joining my journey on me creating this book as well. It's been awesome. Um, yeah, so you know, feel free to let me know what you thought about this video. Um, you know, how about you? Do, you? do you have a next chapter you're on to in your life? Um, anything like that, I'd love to know. Let me know down in the comments. Keep drawing, everyone. Keep creating, and see you in the next video.